Okay, when it comes to practical math, probably nothing's more important than understanding this symbol here. And of course, we are talking about percent. You simply can't uh, look at your cell phone, read the newspaper, watch TV without seeing this symbol everywhere. Um, you know, we're talking about inflation, mortgage rates, uh, something, you know, your credit card percentage rates are going up, something's on sale. This percent symbol is associated with it. So it really does pay off to understand a lot about percent. And most people, I think, uh, can do basic percent problems, and that's, you know, good. And I'm talking about things like what's 6% of, oh, I don't know, 70. Okay, most people can get out their calculator and do this pretty confidently. But when it comes to a problem like this, things get a little bit more interesting. So let's take a look at this problem. 130% of what number is 70? So this is, of course, going to be the topic of this video. How do you solve uh, a problem like this? Well, I want to uh, preface um, this by saying how I'm going to solve the problem. I'm not going to try to sell you on this uh, approach, okay? I'm going to recommend it, actually. But what I, I guess what I'm trying to say, and I want to make this very clear, uh, there's a couple of different ways you could have learned percent way back in your high school days, middle school days, whatever the case might have been. So as long as you know how to work with percent and get answers confidently, correctly, that's what really make, uh, makes a difference. So if you don't like the way I'm going to do this prom and you get the same answer and you're correct, well, then stick with your method. So again, I'm not going to try to sell you on a different technique. However, if you're confused about how to do percent problems like this, then I want to suggest that you follow the way I'm going to approach doing this. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out as well. All right, so let's get into this 130% of what number is 70. Please feel free to use a calculator. Never feel bad about using a calculator. Just remember a calculator is a tool, okay? This is not going to solve the problem for you. You have to be able to communicate with your calculator in order to get the right answer out. But um, what's uh, different about this problem is that we're dealing with a percent that's greater than 100, okay? And I think conceptually, this kind of messes up a lot of people, but let's just kind of quickly review this. So let's take a look at this little bar graph here and let's go from zero to 100. Okay, zero to 100, let's say this is 100 uh, centimeters high or whatever you want to think of this. If I said find 27% of something went from zero to 100, uh, what would 27% of 100 be? Okay, hopefully you said, well, that's like 27, right? So if you had $100 and you wanted to know what 27% of that $100 was, it would be $27. Now, what you could do is you could say, okay, I'm going to find 27% of 100. So how do you find a percent of a number? Well, what you do is you take that percent. So in this case, it's 27.0% and you move the decimal point two places to the left, right? So that's going to be equal to 0.27. So you're going to take the decimal equivalent of that percent, in case you're gonna go from percent to a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. By the way, that's the same thing as dividing the number by 100, okay? When you divide a percent by 100, you're moving a decimal point two places left, and then you're gonna get the decimal equivalent. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the decimal version of the percent, in this case, it's 0.27, and you multiply by the, the whole, okay? So here, the uh, we're trying to find 27% of this whole 100, so 0.27 times 100 is 27. Now, that's like pretty redundant, but let's just make sure we understand kind of the big picture of what's going on with percent. Now, let's take a look at 130%. So let's find 130% of 100 right here, okay? So what does that mean? Well, uh, let's just kind of look at our little bar graph here. So here's 50%. Right, and this would be like 75%, and then here's like 99%, and here's 100%. So what's 100% of 100? Okay, now I'm going for 130%, but what's 100% of 100? Well, hopefully it's like, you kind of think of this as a gas tank. We're gonna fill this whole thing up. So 100% of 100 is 100, okay? So we want 130%, so we're not done yet. We got 100%, so let's add on 30%. So what's 30% of 100? Well, 30% of 100, you can see here, is going to be 30. Of course, we can go 0 0.30 times 100, but we can kind of see from this example here that 30% of 100 is 30. So 
this 100% plus 30%. This gives us our 100 and 30% is going to be equal to 130. Okay. So conceptually, I think when uh, people are working with percents greater than 100, this gets them, you know, they get a little confused about this, right? So this is what this means. Okay. We have to kind of fill up the gas tank and then continue to go on. All right. So there are going to be situations where you're going to be working with percent over 100. Don't let it be, you know, uh, don't let it confuse you. That's why I wanted to take the time to kind of review this. So let's go ahead and tackle this problem. And again, if you don't know how to work with percent, I'm a big believer in uh, using basic algebra to uh, set up nice little small equations to solve percent problems. So let's go ahead and see how I'm going to do this here. All right, so 130% of what number is 70? That is the question. So remember, what we're going to do when we're solving percent problems, you're going to change a percent into a decimal. So 130% is the same thing as 130. If you're wondering where the uh, decimal point is at, it's at, always at the end of the number, right? So 130.0%. So if I move the decimal point two places to the left, I'm going to get 1.3. Okay, so 130% is uh, the same thing as 1.3 is a decimal. So 130% of what number? So in algebra, when you uh, see something like what number, we're looking for some number. Well, that's why we use a variable like x. This is just a placeholder represents some number or in this case, what number we're looking for, right? So we'll just use a variable x is when you see the word is in a sentence and you're interpreting this as a mathematical like equation. The word is is always the equal sign. So 130% of what number is or is equal to. So this is an equal sign. And of course, this is 70. So I'll write that 70 there. So how do we find a percent of a number again, right? So remember, if I was trying to find 27% of 100, you convert this to a decimal, that's 0.27, and you multiply by the number, okay? So here, if I'm trying to find 130%, of what number? Well, I'm going to convert this to a decimal, 1.3, and I'm going to multiply by that number, okay? That's how I find the percent of that number. So in algebra, we're going to have 1.3 times x, okay? 1.3x is or is equal to 70, okay? So here is a nice equation that represents what's going on here. And now, simply, this comes down to your ability to um, solve an algebraic equation. Very, very simple. So I hope you're learning something from this video. And if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. So 1.3x is equal to 70. How do I solve for x? Well, you need to divide both sides of the equation by 1.3. So 70 divided by 1.3, get your calculator out. You're going to get uh, 53.84. Now, I am rounding off. There are more digits here. So this is an approximation. So technically, this is not a perfect, perfect answer. So I'm kind of rounding off here the two decimal points. So... Um, our number is approximately 53.84. Okay, so that is the answer. All right, so let's go up here. 130% of 53. Okay, what was that number again? 53.84 uh, is uh, 70. Now, let's go ahead and check this. All right, we're, we're going to do this two ways. 53.84, that's the answer. So um, 130%, right? So we're saying 130% uh, uh, this number and this number that we just calculated was 53.84. So to calculate or to get 130%, we're going to go from zero all the way up to 100% of that number. Of course, that number will be 53.84. So that's 100% right there. Now we need 30% more, right, to get to 130%. So what's 30% of 53.84? Well, 30% of 53.84, I could take that 0.3 and multiply by 53.84, but it's going to be 16.15, okay? All right, so if we add up the 100% and the 30%, you're going to get 69.99, which is effectively 70, okay? And then, of course, let's review the problem here. 
130% of what number? Of course, that was 53.84. Remember, this is um, a uh, estimation here because we did round off a bit. Is we got 69.99, but effectively that is 70. So this is good. Okay. Now I'm breaking it out this way uh, just to kind of conceptually show you how to work with percents over 100. But now let's go ahead and check this more directly. If I wanted to um, verify that 130% of uh, 53.84, if I wanted to find the answer, remember I'm going to take this percent and convert it to a decimal by moving uh, the decimal point two places to the left. So that's going to be 1.3. And then I will multiply uh, by the number I'm trying to find a percent of. So 130% of 53.84 is 1.3 times 53.84. And guess what you get in your calculator? 69.99, which again, effectively is 70. So it checks out. But um, again, um, the big picture here, okay, is uh, percent problems like this can be confusing. Now, uh, by the way, I must, uh, I would be remiss if you got this problem correct and you were confident and you took a different approach. I don't care how you learned it way back in 1984, 1993, whenever you were in school, maybe that was 2019, doesn't make a difference. If you got this right, I must go ahead and give you a nice little lovely happy face, an A++. Uh, let me give you a few stars here and 100%. That's pretty awesome. Okay. It means that you really have a good grasp on percent, much more than basic percent prompts. So stick with whatever, uh, you know, works for you. Okay. So if you had a great math teacher way back in the day that taught you this and you can do these prompts accurately and correctly, that's what makes a difference. However, if you're struggling with percent and you've been confused about percent, I'm going to highly, highly recommend using the techniques that I showed you in this video, namely just set constructing nice little basic um, algebra equations because that really shows your command of the percent, um, the concepts involved in percent. If you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.